Finishing off here at Old Trafford, um, so many opinions today. Um, do you see it as a smash and grab or do you see it as something to build on? You see, it's kind of, to be honest with you, it's kind of a bit of both. Because when we first started off at the game, it was like, well, I don't know what we were doing. It was so slow, the game was so slow, yeah? And then obviously they scored, that put us in like a mindset as if like, you know, I started to worry as a fan. As a fan, I started to worry like, yo, what's going on with this team? We've already lost a few games. We've lost the last one and the one before that. And I'm over here thinking, yo, what are we, do what are we doing? I can't imagine what the players were thinking. That's something we can build on it. We can build on how we can, you know, play with the ball. But then after I see the second half, it's like a new team walked in. They started passing a bit more. They started doing a bit more. And then I'm like, I start getting a bit more hopeful. Yeah, the fans start cheering a bit more. And then obviously they score two bangers. Yeah, Ronaldo at the end. Shout out to Ronaldo. That was a banging goal, by the way. That was a great goal. But honestly, yeah, nice one. Yeah. But honestly, like, I thought we could have done better. Like we Way are, better, yeah. Yeah, but we are a Champions League team, but are we like a winning Champions League team? Like, can you see this team get to the final? Can you see this team win? To be honest with you, I don't see that yet. Mm. I can see us maybe winning a few small games, but I don't see us going too like too far. We might get a bit, but I, I just don't see us going that far, to be honest with you. I know you're from the goalkeepers union. Yeah. Um you spoke about David De Gea at West Ham. Um and look at the performance that today. Um I mean, they are, like I said before, he's got to be our number one. But I also want to, I also spoke about Wamba Saka, and um, I've been hearing a lot of shouts for Delo to be coming in and yeah, whatever. Yeah. But you know, the problem is, yeah, like, I keep getting told Delo's an attacking right back and Wamba Saka can't attack. But if I be real, Wamba Saka's attacking better than Delo. I mean, I'm seeing Delo putting crosses and they're going up for throw ins, going up for goal kicks. I mean, that's, that's not really what, what you want from an attacking right back. And uh, one more thing. I, I think Oli's got to start fixing up now because there was parts during, a large part during that game where I could hear the crowd actually just go, getting on to him and, trying to, and getting on to the players and say, look, attack, attack, attack. We're getting the ball, we're not doing anything with it. There's times that the Villarreal defenders have got him, we're just standing off him. We've got to be able to press him. We're, like, we're playing at home. The crowd are getting up, but it's like the players and the managers don't want it now. Like, I'm not, I, don't, I don't believe in this Oli in, Oli out yeah. thing. Do you get me? Like, I stick by, like, I'm sticking by Oli, but... There's better managers out there right now. I mean, Zidane and Ten Hag, imagine what they could do with these players. Do you get me? Ten Hag, Ajax, we saw them play yesterday. Bro, that's beautiful football. Zidane, three Champions Leagues in a row. I mean, he's got a, like, I want Oli to succeed, but if he's going to continue like this, then uh, the crowd's just going to turn on him. Do you think today, like you say in there, that obviously he was Basically saying it's lucky, really, very lucky. If I was Oli, I would kiss the hair, the hair's hands. <laughs> I would, I would literally kiss his hands because he saved his ass. Mm. He said, oh, he saved his ass today. If it wasn't for David de Gea, we would have lost that game. At half time, we were, I, could, I thought, I thought we could have lost four goals by half time easily. So they outdone us, and he's lucky. He's just lucky. He's riding lucky. I still think Oli out. I don't think in the long run he's going to do anything. And uh, it's just. McTominay, what was he doing on the pitch again today? He was invisible. I didn't see him. Do you know what I mean? Like McTominay, like he's not reading the game. He's not reading where the ball's falling. So we were just really lucky. And uh, Ronaldo, he's clutch player. He's not. He could be silent all throughout the game, but last minute he'll wake up and score a goal. That's that's Ronaldo. And 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 Cavani's pressing. We needed that in the beginning. There was no one pressing at the front. And Bruno, he's having a go at Jadon Sancho. I've seen Jadon Sancho twist up Verratti. I've seen Jaden uh, Jaden Sancho twist up the best players in the world, and he can't get and people are going on to him. So what do you I think it is with the, with Sancho at the moment? Like, bro, I don't I don't understand. Is don't, there even a thing? I don't think he's being used properly because mm. he is world class. He's a generational talent, and I've seen like I said, I've seen him twist up the best players in the world. He can do it. I believe in Oli. I mean Oli. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You're sorry. In, you're yeah. in. I believe in Jaden Sancho. I think he'll come good. Mm. So yeah, but all he's got until Christmas, and I think he's gone. Because that game, we should have lost that. And these lot, Villarreal, they're sixth in the league. They're shit. Mm. They're not even all that. They're and we struggled. And we, we, and we're celebrating they're that. Huh? They're, undefeated. they're undefeated. But where yeah. are they? They drew. They drew nine, five games. They drew five games in a row. It's, it's not good enough. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think that's what you're saying. You're saying yeah, the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Let me come over here. I, a lot about the manager, a lot about the performances. Can you give us a, a positive about that in terms of like when you win like that, can you see it catapulting us to, to play better in the next game? Someone said the changes over there. Can, can you see positives from that uh, or do you still see it as a smash and grab? Uh, it's a smash and grab at the end of the day. Yeah. Ole's been let off by individual, yeah. brill individual brilliance. 
of De Gea and Ronaldo and especially Cavani. Like, like the other man said, Cavani changed his team completely. And the, I think the only positive I can try and grab from this is hopefully everyone could be brought up by Cavani's performance and seeing that I should be doing that from minute one. Like Pogba, I saw him tr just walking back after losing the ball. He should be sprinting back trying to win it in the fifth minute. Scott McTominay, I think he's an okay player. He's not our type of player, but he, he's a dead player. But he's got the heart. He, he should also be running back. He's a squad player. But again, he shouldn't be starting. I, I saw this lineup today and thought, no Fred. And I saw no McFred. And I was thinking, positive football. And for 40 minutes, I was sat there watching. Ping pong. But is that, ping so you, pong. That's a really interesting point because us as fans, yeah, we a lot of us. I think I can speak for a lot of people here who say, obviously, McTominay and Fred. No, that's not the way forward. Yeah. We need a defensive midfielder. We know that. But then, when we play different combinations with what we have, if Matic comes in and plays with Pogba, or if Pogba plays with McTominay, if Van der Beek ever gets a chance, which he doesn't really, we always seem to kind of have a problem in midfield, no yeah. matter who plays there, out of what we currently have. See, no, I understand that and it's just a problem with our squad. We haven't got a working midfield combination and I genuinely, McFred is shit, but like you said, it does work well, but we need to put him out. We just need to get him out because, like, I've seen reports that we're in for CDMs, but like, I think we need to try and let Pogba play there consistently because he's being consistently thrown out on the wing and because he's getting four assists in a game everyone here thinks oh play him on the left but then where's that leave Rashford and Sancho and players like that but I think Pogba needs time to settle into that CDM and get used to someone so if you put if you put like McTominay next to him and leave him there and let that settle instead of going chop chip chop chip between players so at the end of the day Pogba needs to play midfield he's a he's one of the greatest midfielders in the world on his day we can't see him we can't get a game no and it's just we just need we need a new manager I I love Ole and I love what he's done for this club but he doesn't deserve to manage this caliber of a team so but, I don't see it going well. No, but man of the match, David De Gea. He was unbelievable today, wasn't he? I'm going to come um, to over here. Um, is this, a, is this, a, is this a, a platform now? Is this, a, is this a chance to get some confidence? Yeah, going forward in Saturday's game. So Ronaldo got us out of jail again. How many times is he going to do that? So performance today is overall like not that great. So going forward, it will build confidence. But Ole is, is under pressure, so... We've got good tough fixtures two months, so he's really under pressure. At, by Christmas, it uh, looks like he might be gone. Mm. Den Haag is the next choice, but I would go for per, per, per preference. Conte. Not Conte, but Den Haag is really good. Even Zidane, but I would go for Den Haag. He's played under Pep uh, by Munich, and he's got the experience. He's bring bring that football uh, element to the uh, club. But we'll give him till Christmas, uh, go over this two million uh, fixture run-ins, see how it goes. But yeah, we build confidence going into Saturday's game. Hopefully get another win on Saturday, but this time like play really well going forward. On a positive, David De Gea. Um, just to kind of finish off the, the kind of fan roundup, is he back to his best? I think he's getting there. Obviously, he's started the season very well. Um, he's getting the support. You're seeing that, that switch he turned where he started more commanding. You see him talking more with the defenders and that. I think Varane brought that out of him. Maguire's probably helped him out. But I think one key thing it shows how important Juan Bissaka and Shaw is defensively, don't have them, you see. defensively. Because those right back and left back today, they, weren't, they were tracking back, but they weren't going forward for the ball. And, and the attacking, it shows the attackers just stay forward. We need the attackers to track back as well. I mean, when we, we should have been 4 4 2 and started deep. That's what we should have done. Just ticky tack the ball through the middle. That's the, that's the best way to play. So you got, look how PSG play seven men behind the ball, organised. We couldn't even do that against Villarreal. It's Villarreal, come on, man. And, it, and it had, did that have shades yeah. of, the, of the final? Were you worried, you know, how we played against them in the final where we looked like we couldn't create chances, we looked like it was going from bad to worse. Obviously, we wound up winning the game, but was you, was you worried earlier? Yeah, throughout the whole game, I was worried. Um, I'll be honest. It was just, just no, no creativity. Um, it was just boring. I was watching Lind Lindelof and uh, Varane just passing it between themselves. Just, just passing it between themselves. Um, I think it was a smash and grab towards the end. Ronaldo saved us. Um, Greenwood and Sancho on the wings. I think they need more help from the runs of, of Ronaldo and Bruno. I think they have the ability to uh, to play that interchangeable football, but um, not good enough today. We got the win. I'm delighted, but not good enough. Um, 
I don't, don't know if that's something they need to work on in the, on the training ground, that creativity. Because it's but not consistent, is it, like when we do create chances? As Gary Neville said this week, it's, it's moments of, of football and creativity. It's not consistent throughout a game for like Man City, for example. It's, it's moments of individual brilliance. It's not good enough. As a Man United fan, watching them for 15 years, it's, it's not what I'm used to. You know, I miss, uh, miss the days of Fergie. And uh, even though, you know, Fergie time, getting last minute winners, it's, it doesn't feel the same. Mm. Um, yeah. We go again. Listen, we, go again. we wrapped out here, Old Trafford. The fans have had their say. A fantastic perfor- no, a fantastic result. A fantastic result. We have to go again. There's obviously a lot of opinions out there, but we needed to win that game. We needed to win the game and we did win the game. So we go again, smash the like on the video, subscribe if you're new. We have free dolly. <laughs> free dolly. We go again. <laughs>